Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead, and today we are making something so delightful. Mm -hmm. Italian bread. Yep. So I think humans are by nature wired, hardwired to love fresh, homemade bread. There's nothing like it. Right, right. And well, I mean, of course, other than like macaroni and cheese or BLTs, those, those rate high on the list. But fresh bread is amazing, mm -hmm. and Italian bread is, is well, it's way up there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people think they can't bake, but that's really just not the case. It is It is relatively easy to do. You just have to know the, the procedure and the steps to follow. There, there are a few tips and tricks. Mm -hmm. And so today, we're gonna show you seven easy steps. Well, I don't know. No, I actually really. don't know how many steps, but it's not hard. So without any further ado, here we go with the ingredients. Okay, for ingredients, we're talking super basic stuff. You're gonna need four cups of water, but you may not use it all because it's gonna be added as a consistency kind of thing. You'll see later how it works out. But you need six cups of flour, four teaspoons of sugar, four teaspoons of salt, and five teaspoons of yeast. Now, I nearly forgot for a couple options. You don't have to do this, but we do. And that's have a couple tablespoons of a nice olive oil so you can put that on the top. It makes a really, really nice crust. And also some sesame seeds are a must for us. You don't have to, but hey, there you go. So what you gotta do first is you gotta proof your yeast, which means you gotta make sure that it is alive. Alive! So I'm gonna take half of the sugar from here and put it in the flour. Into the flour. I'm gonna take the yeast and put it in with the sugar. Okay. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of water, about a quarter of a cup, and let that, stir that up and let that sit for a few minutes. Because the yeast is actually going to come alive and start to feast upon that sugar. That's right. It's gonna make bubbles. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm We've only waited just a couple minutes and you see how this is getting fizzy? That is proof that yet, well, that it's alive. <laughs> So now I'm gonna put the salt in with the flour and the other half of the sugar. Oop, a little bit of salt there. I'm gonna mix that up. Then I'll take the yeast that has proofed and pour that into the flour. Now I'm gonna give this a little bit of a stir just to get that incorporated with the flour. This is where you need to add your water. Just add a little bit at a time, maybe a half a cup or so at a time, and then give it a good stir. So what are you looking for specifically? Looking for a nice, smooth, uh, not sticky dough. So you just keep adding it till it gets to that silky smooth, That's not right. sticky and stinky. That's right. This is what you're looking for here. It's, it's not sticky, it's still a little clumpy, but you're gonna turn this out onto a floured countertop and knead it for a few minutes. From time to time, you might have to add a little bit of flour if it starts to get a little too sticky. So now a quick word on the salt. Why in the world is our salt pink? <laughs> it's because it's pink Himalayan salt. Right. <laughs> We've decided to move from table salt to the Himalayan sea salt because it is it's, it seems well, to be a little bit richer in minerals um, and it's not as processed as the table well, salt. Well, and the flavor is actually a lot better. Yeah. So we, we like it and I know it's not kind of a normal thing, but if you want to find out more, there's some links down below. You can find out more where you can get it, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So now this is what it looks like when you're done. Ooh, touch. Nice, <laughs> touch. Nice and springy, not sticky and what at all. So now you're gonna let this rise until it is doubled in size. I put a nice warm tea towel over the top of it just so it doesn't dry out. Now just a quick note on the water. We did not use it all. I've got about a cup left. And that's okay. You just need to get the right consistency of the dough. Now you can see our dough has doubled in size. We're gonna turn it out onto a floured countertop and knock it down, punch it down, and put it back in the bowl for another hour to rise. So your second rising is done, and we're gonna roll it out on a floured counter. Woohoo! Yeah. Now 
And this rolling pin, I absolutely love this. A friend of the channel sent us this. I am super, super so, well, grateful. What are, you, what are you trying to accomplish there? We need a rectangle, square, or yeah, a rectangle. Right. So just generally a rectangle, not actually generally a rectangle. Generally a rectangle. And how thick is it from, from the bottom up it's there? about a half inch. About a half inch? Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to divide it in half. My handy dandy dough knife. And then I'll spin this around so it's easier. Now you're going to just roll it like a log. We're going to tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Just like if you're putting yourself out of fire. <laughs> so that's stop, drop, and roll, baby. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, it's give me, I'm on fire, give me a jelly roll. <laughs> Somebody get me a jelly roll. So then at the ends, you're going to curl it under, make a nice round shape here. Then you'll place it on some parchment. If you don't have parchment, just make sure you got a greased pan. On top of your cookie sheet. Yep. So parchment paper, poof, one done. Let's right. see the next one. So you're going to cover this with a warm, damp towel. Allow it to rise for about 30 minutes while your oven is preheating to 375 degrees. And then you got ready to bake. Ooh, Ooh look, look at, at there. That. You are nearly oven ready, but not yet. Not yet. Because we have an option that is not optional in our book. Right. We Two options. <laughs> we put a little bit of olive oil on there and then some sesame seeds. Now one last thing, you're gonna slice this just a little bit so that they don't explode coming out of the side. Now into the oven for about 50 minutes. Time's up. Ooh, look, Ooh at that. look at there. Holy smokes. Yummy, yummy. Nice. Would you feast your eyes on that? That looks scrum diddly umptious. Holy smokes, yummy. Take a look at that. This is amazing. And holy bejeebers. Check this out. I bet you can hear this. Can you hear that? That's pretty awesome. Italian bread. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Crunchy. So crunchy. Light. Mm -hmm. Fluffy on the inside. Mm -hmm. Enough salt where there's a really nice flavor to it. I'll be right back. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Italian bread is just scrum diddly mm -hmm. That's That's really the word. Um, and it's not that hard to do. It's just you gotta follow your steps. Follow your steps. It takes a little time for this one and just. Yeah, you know, with that extra rise time, it does take a little bit, but yeah. it is so worth it and it's so good and you can do it. Yep. So there you have it. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. And you're not, because we are. So. You have an amazing day. Yes.